I've got cerebral palsy. I've had it from birth. My top half works, um, but my legs don't. I've got a team of like nine carers. I'm never left alone. I I'm scared if I have to use use an ambulance. Say I was admitted into hospital into hospital and the carers would have to be with me 20, 24 7. I want to talk to the ambulance service about my air condition and make them aware about it. If you get a disabled patient on board, have Dig dignity and make sure before you take them in have all their needs met just ask the carers or myself because I'm in a wheelchair I get a lot of people who talk down to me and I feel that's patronising. For me, dig dignity means that if I have to be treated at, well, I want dignity and I expect it anywhere that I go, I go. I have mood swings because I'm in a wheelchair all the time and I do get um, depressed with it. Sometimes I get so wound up that I, I have to break down in cro start crying I have to go to hosp hospital appointments you know with um, the tra transport you can get from hospital like the cars, because you're, you're given a time and then you've got to hang, hang about till eight o'clock for that certain ambulance to come, you can't move. So it's like the ambulance cars are really no good. I've been in in the car, one of the cars to Bangor Hospital, and my carers cannot sit by me. They have to sit in the back, and I like my carers to sit. Uh, we're close by me so I can talk to them. When you're talking about um, making new ambulances, new ambulances before they get on the road, get the disabled to design design them.